This is Downlink. We have pulled in data products from Mars 2020. This is downlink, confirming we received Mars 2020 telemetry, confirming that we received Mars 2020 events, confirming that we received helicopter data products, confirming that we have data products, confirming that we unpacked image and one hertz data. This is downlink. We have successfully ingested one hertz data. Confirming that we have helicopter data products, helicopter telemetry, helicopter events. Confirming helicopter file listing. Confirming expected boot counts. This is downlink, confirming battery uh, data has been received. Rotor motors appear healthy. Swashplate servos appear healthy. Overall actuators appear healthy. Confirming thermal report generation. Confirming analog report generation. Confirming telecom report generation. This is downlink handing off to flight control for telemetry analysis. This is flight control confirming that we have EVRs from Ingenuity. Ingenuity is reporting having performed spin up, takeoff, climb, hover, descent, landing, touchdown. 
and spend down. And al altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight, the first flight of a powered aircraft to another planet. Surface. Taryn, go ahead and repeat that. So the image we're looking at on the screen is the image from our onboard navigation camera showing us hovering above the surface of Mars. How incredible! <laughs> and that's its shadow, right Taryn? Yes, that's its shadow. So the onboard navigation camera points straight down, so we're seeing its shadow right now. I can just hear Mimi in the background. This is real. This is real. It's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, everyone's really, really feeling it now. So we're uh, we're gonna wait for the Perseverance rover image of us. just saw with the Perseverance image? So the Persever Perseverance image is showing us um, grounded at first. It's, it's actually a video, which is great. It's grounded at first and then shows us hovering our three meters above the Martian surface and then touching back down. It's amazing, brilliant. Everyone is, is super excited. <laughs> so I would say it's a success. I would say
doesn't, we don't know from history what Orville and Wilbur did after their first successful flight. The right brothers that I mentioned, the two brothers helped each other. Well, you know I'm hugging you virtually, and you guys haven't been with me for four, five, six years. If it weren't for COVID-19, you guys don't have a chance of me. <laughs> so this is all I can do. I'm giving you the hugs. So we together uh, flew at Mars, and we together now have our right brothers moment. So, you know, history does tell us that soon after that first flight, Wilbur and Orville did go right back to work. They flew three more flights that day, higher and further than the first one. So we know, you know, like the Wright brothers at Kitty Hawk, we know that our time can make a difference. At Jezero Crater, Mars is not yet over. This is just a first great flight. So let's enjoy this moment. But we must enjoy this moment because over the years, and there are a few of you especially, but there are some that have never let me celebrate fully. Every time we hit one of these major milestones, not yet, not yet. We keep moving on. So we must take a moment to celebrate this moment. Really important. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Take that moment, and then after that, let's get back to work and more flights. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to the Ingenuity helicopter team on making history this morning. To get the latest updates on Ingenuity, follow on at NASA JPL on Facebook and Twitter. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us at this early morning hour. The journey on this month of Ingenuity continues. Join us for a news briefing later this morning at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for a deeper analysis of Ingenuity's first flight and what this means for NASA. I'm Marina Jurica. Thanks for watching and good night and go ingenuity.